Hi, I'm Rochelle Ireland, and this is my channel, Sneaky Bunny Sewing. I found some clothes recently at a thrift store, but at my local thrift store, they don't have change rooms anymore. So I thought, no problem. I know how to sew. So I bought them, and a couple of them were too big. I had to take them in. And one of them was a little bit weird. Actually, the one that I'm wearing right now. It, I could tell why it was, it ended up at the thrift store. It was a little odd, but I thought, you know what? There's a lot that I like about it. So I will just alter it to suit my personal style a bit better. So yeah, follow along as I show you how to take in both a woven dress and a knit dress. They're too big. And then I'll show you how I altered this um, and what it started out as. I'll show you the before and the after. Let's get started. <laughs> So I'm in my sewing room to show you one of my thrift store finds, and you can see it's weird. This is why it ended up at the thrift store. But I'm gonna see if there's something I can do with this. So there's a lot that I love about it. I love these little tie sleeves. I love the little skirt on it. I love that it is a romper, but it being both a sort of half dress and a romper. When I showed it to my husband, he said, it looks like a mistake. It looks like they ran out of fabric. So what I was thinking is I will, because it's made out of knit, I will create by like moving up the skirt so it'll be a little shorter in the front. And I'm going to demonstrate, I will pin this with safety pins so you can see that it actually does work. I often do that. If I have an idea and I'm not sure if it'll work, what I do is I safety pin it and then try it on again. So that's what I'm about to do. So I'm going to kind of smush these edges together, line everything up, and sew this front skirt together and I think because it's knit I'll get away with it. I'll be able to sew that together and it will look like a cute little romper dress. It won't have the, it won't look like a mistake anymore down the front like I ran out of fabric. It will just, it'll just look like it was meant to be a little dress with shorts underneath. Okay, so I'm back and I've in, it all down front with safety pin. See, come a little closer. It just kind of hides the join at the top. You all get up close to where that bow is, as close as I can get, and just kind of hide the join underneath the little bow. And then, yeah, and because of the busy print, I think it kind of disguises the fact that you know I've I'm going to uh, join the two sides so I think it looks really cool and, um, and actually this is really comfortable whatever this knit is it's like a I don't know like a bamboo jersey knit or something like that but it's super super stretchy and uh, very comfortable this this will be like secret pajamas. This is so comfy. So yeah, and then this is a nice easy fix because all I need to do is just pin this and sew using a stretch needle and some matching thread. It's this yellow and a knit needle and just sew up the sew up the skirt and this one should be done. So here's just a quick video to show you all my safety pins. So the next step I'm going to do will be to take out each safety pin carefully and replace it with an actual pin. And then we will sew up that split. So here's what I've done. I started at the bottom, pinned 
all the way up and I'm trying to hide that join at the very top underneath the bow as much as possible. And yeah, we're gonna see. Figure as long as it lines up at the bottom, that's why I placed these pins so I can pull them out as I go along. Um, it will line up at the bottom and then I'll just kind of make it work at the top. And it should work out all right. Was a little girl strawberry shortcake was all the rage and I love strawberry shortcake and it has like little strawberry flowers on it. So and all it is is you know it has a shirt back back here but it doesn't quite hug my body as much as it should. So all I'm gonna do is take it in each side. So I'm gonna pin it equal on each side of the um, seam line and just get it to hug my body just a little bit more in. It should be very forgiving because it does have the shirt back. So pinch it like this. It really looks like I have to take it in by the same amount of this little panel that's right beside the shirt. So yeah I'll do that both sides. I'll turn it inside out up that extra fabric and then once I sew it Here you can see a close-up of what I've done. And when I pin this, I'm going to sew from the top down. I've faced my pins accordingly so I can pull out each pin as I sew. I'm going to just carefully stitch in that ditch. And I've poked through my pins so that they match up on the other side. Here, I'll show you. So they kind of go through the seam on the other side. I'm just taking in that little um, panel that's beside the shirring. I'm not touching the shirring at all. I'm going to leave all that elastic 
in there. And I've done the same thing on the other side. So now it's time to just stitch in the ditch and take it in. I'm at the sewing machine now and I've picked a very pale kind of, it's like a taupey color thread. Um, I didn't have a pink, but I tried white and I held up the white thread against my fabric and it stood out a little bit more than when I held up this taupey color. It's a little bit more the same um, intensity as the pink and so it blends in. So that's what I'm going to use, just this thread. And then I'm just going to stitch in the ditch, up the sides, and then tack these little folds. I will tack them not towards the elastic side, I'll tack them towards the bodice, the front. is just to keep it from flipping out and beating away. And you don't need much. Just you may want to make sure you don't go all the way through the fabric to the other side. Because that wouldn't look very nice. That's all there is to it. Just go like that and we'll do one extra knot for a good measure. I can snip off. You don't need quite that big of a tail. Under there, just hide that. And actually, if we pass this through to the underside, then we can knot off and make sure that we don't have thread tails hanging out on the outside of our dress. We don't want that. There we go. And now for this side.
that I found at the thrift store. And I've been wanting one of these kind of t-shirt, um, t-shirt dresses. I've seen them on other people and I really love them. They just look comfortable. They cover all the areas that tend to burn and that I can't reach with the sunscreen. So I found this one. I love the fabric. I love the color, the print. But of course there's no change rooms now at the thrift stores where I shop anymore since COVID. So I couldn't try it on. But I thought it's all right. I think I think it'll fit. And if it's too big, I can take it in. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm just going to do my usual, put it on inside out, pin it, make sure that I don't go too tight. It is stretchy though. So I might have to take in the underarm sleeve a little bit too. Yeah, I think so. So it'll just be taken in each side at the seam, equal amounts. So what do you do to measure that? Quite a bit that has to come in. Let go of this side, feels like go of this side. And what you need to do is just measure how much that is coming in. Do the same thing on both sides. So that's actually like two inches from the front, two inches from the back, right? Because we're, we're doing from the seam and then you end up pinning it both sides, but so you have to think you're taking four inches each side off. So it's quite a bit bigger than you know what I need it to be, but I can make that work. So you see where the first tier starts? I'll taper it in to the, the normal seam allowance, but it'll be somewhere in the middle of this, this, pat, this tier right here, this panel. This gathered tier. So what we do is we bring it in the two inches from this point and then taper in to where the original seam allowance is. Because we don't mind having fullness down here, but we just want it to be a little bit more fitted in the waist. And then up here, I'll probably, yeah, I might just taper it. I won't take in the sleeve at all. I think that'll be okay. It doesn't look bad, the sleeve. So I'll just taper it. Once I get to the sleeve, it'll be straight into the original seam. I think that'll work. I don't know, but it doesn't matter because we, we guess and test, right? So we use our safety pins, turn it inside out, do all our alterations as if we're doing it for real, but with safety pins, try it on, and then we see if we like the look of it. Let's start with one side. We're gonna line up this seam over here, right? So remember what we said, we're gonna take this in two inches. We'll just go from the edge. We don't want to make it too too tight, right? We're gonna go downwards. So this is about the middle of our panel. Got it all lined up. It's all nice and flat. So we get. ruler decide if we want to like curve it outwards I think maybe that might look weird though so maybe just kind of a gentle yeah, we'll bring it in like that I think that'll be that won't give me any lumps or bumps or look weird we're just going to draw our line taper in to this stitching down here so we line up the underarm seam and if we and we could take it in but let's try first to just kind of angle the seam we're going to taper it kind of like what we did down here we're going to try just 
have it come in and out. We're gonna try that first because you know we're not committing to anything yet. We're gonna do everything with safety pins. So we're gonna ignore this mark. And now that our lines are drawn, and we will do the exact same thing on the other side. So all we're doing is we're taping into the original seams, coming in two inches at the waist and then tapering back out and going into that original seam. doing this we kind of want to make sure kind of feel for your fabric or maybe give a peek uh, it'll be more important when when you go to sew it but you what you want to do is make sure that this waist seam lines up so that's what I'm kind of doing I'm feeling through the fabric nice and flat and you want that waist seam to line up now we're going to do the same thing on the other side there's my waist seam, and here's my first tiered panel of my skirt. We're getting everything flat, lining up that waist seam, and kind of feel through the fabric, pull everything into place, and get it lying nice and flat. Two inches here, we are measuring from the raw edge. be at the waist. Two inches comes in at the waist, right? Oh, I guess we kind of want to mirror exactly what happened on this side. So let's measure how far we went down. Five inches. So from this point, we're going to just on this side seam, okay, nice and flat. And we're going to line this ruler up with the raw edge of our waist seam. And we're going to move down five inches and we'll make a little mark. Here's, here's where we need to taper into so that we'll be symmetrical on both sides. And then we take our ruler and we just kind of draw a line from our waist seam mark. That's our two inch inches and then go all the way down there. Same thing up here. Yeah, like that. And then right to the underarm. And that should be pretty close. Now we'll pin it. We're just going to take our t-shirt, dress, and we're going to replace all these safety pins.
Okay, we're ready to sew. Start on the existing seam a little bit. Make sure that nothing is weirdly tucked underneath. Facing, like you pull them out this way. 